Okay, this is the quest to build a signal interceptor and you get this after completing find the railroad quest and reporting back to Virgil. Um, as an option you've got options to speak to various different people at the start. I chose to speak to the Minutemen uh, and that started me off building it at Sanctuary. So as you can see I'm building on an empty house plot which I'd cleared earlier and um, there are basically four items that you have to build and you have a, a lot of parts that you need to have uh, for this. So the thing in the middle is the reflector platform and then on the left you have the console and on the right um, that's the relay dish. So I now just have to um, build the beam emitter uh, which I'm going to do now. So um, in the workshop menu you can see we have this special uh, menu at the bottom and that will only appear after you've done the required quest prior to this. So if we open that um, you'll see it's got the other things which I've already built. Uh, this is the beam emitter. Uh, funnily enough that was in the right place. So you, you place it sort of around the platform and that's all four items built and now they have to be powered up so make sure you power up all of them or it's not going to work so the way to do this um, I'm going to attach um, generators to each item so We go on to the power menu. Here are the generators. Um, there are three options for me. Um, there's the small one, the medium one. Uh, I've not unlocked the large one, so there's also a windmill as well as an option. Um, so I'm going to go the small one for the platform. I'm going to build that. And um, now the beam emitter, if you look uh, at uh, the letters in red, that says it requires 20 units of power. The platform didn't specify any units, but this says 20. Um, so I'm going to place four generators on here. So if we go for the medium sized one, that produces five units. and so we'll need four of those to produce 20 units for the beam emitter. So one, two, three, four. Um, and now we have to connect the generators together. Um, if you see at the bottom, I'm using Xbox, the menu at the bottom it's got a Y for attach wire. So um, you can see the wire being attached so Oh, they're not all joined together. Sorry, I've done that slightly wrong. Let's have a look. Touch wire to that one. To that one. Um. So that is now powered up. As you can see it's already blue but it's not fully um, operational yet because we haven't connected everything else and powered them up. Um, so um, the relay dish, you see the number 5 in red, it requires 5 power units. So if we look at the generators, this one produces 5. So we'll just place that one there. and. Connect the generator to the um, unit there. So you can see that's now lit up, so that's operational. And uh, we also 
want to connect the relay dish to the beam emitter. So we'll go get out of the way Sturgis, touch wire to that. Oh no, it's not attached. Okay. Um, now the console, this requires two units of power. So oh, I'll just have the small generator for that one. And touch a wire. to the console. Okay, and now we want to attach a wire from the console to the beam emitter. And something. I didn't attach. need a cable. I'll touch a wire from that generator to the base there. Or is it to the beam emitter? Hang on, sorry. Try that. So that's you see, I've got the completed sign and it now says talk to Sturgis for the next stage of the quest. So uh, it's a bit complex that one, so hope that helped and um, good luck with the game. Thanks for watching.